for about a, a second or two. It actually did move substantially. We did a little search for about uh, five minutes out in the hallways, which the, it's strange, the hallways in the center of the floor were devastated, mm -hmm. not so much the outside office areas mm. of, of the side that I was on. And you were on the 73rd floor when you heard something happen in the tower where Bill was, right? What? Yeah. Um, more or less a big shake, like an earthquake, like you said, uh, occurred. Actually, it's, uh, it's interesting. Uh, there's, no, there's no way to characterize any part of this as fortunate, but if you look at cities who are prepared to handle an incident like this, um, and as you've seen New York's emergency response to this, it is probably one of the few places that is, that is prepared with the kind of equipment, response, and rescue efforts that could actually address something like this. And Washington is probably the other. Um, immediately when this happened, the entire emergency service unit, which comprises hundreds of specially trained cops, was mobilized to the scene. Now a triage center, um, a triage center uh, for the injured has been set up just around the corner from the World Trade Center. It's um, an incredible scene down there with a tremendous amount of equipment. Um, the Federal Aviation Administration has actually gone even further than it did a few minutes ago. It, it was uh, forming all, asking all planes not to take off. Now the FAA has ordered all aircraft currently in the air over the United States to land at the nearest airport. Now you can imagine what may be happening or what they think might be happening in some part of the country that there is somebody else on some aircraft coming from somewhere or going somewhere <clears throat> with evil in their with evil intentions and so all aircraft currently in the air over the United States have been ordered to land at the nearest airport. I think one of the hang on just a sec, John, I just want to check one thing because um, one of the very first people the president talked to was the director of the FBI and Pierre Thomas who covers the Justice Department and the FBI for us has been here. Um, they may think they prepare for this kind of thing, Pierre, but man, it must have been a shock. Stunning shock. Uh, the FBI Special Operations Center is now in full alert. The FBI mm. extremely concerned that there would be additional attacks. Normally when you have a situation like this, they immediately get on the line with the CIA, the various intelligence agencies, trying to get a sense of who might have been planning something. It's Don Dealer down here. I'm four blocks north of the World Trade Center. The second building that was hit by the plane has just completely collapsed. The entire building has just collapsed as if a demolition team set off when you see the old demolitions of these old buildings. It My folded God. down on itself and it is not there anymore. That should be it. It Thanks has very completely much, collapsed. The whole side has collapsed? The whole there? building has collapsed. The I'm whole building right. has collapsed? The building has collapsed. That's the southern tower you're talking exactly. about. There has just been a huge explosion. We can see uh, a billowing smoke rising. And I can't, I'll, I'll tell you that I can't see that second tower. But y there was a cascade of sparks and fire. The second tower, which in fact was the first one hit, uh, collapse as well, and that's what you're about to see. Um, our reporters in the area say they heard loud noises when that happened. It is unclear to them and to us whether those were explosions going on in the building or if that was simply the sound of the collapse. It appearing to fall away from the rest of the building. Can we go to the tape now? Here we go, right here. This is, I mean, when you look at it, the building has collapsed. That tower just came down. Let's go to Bob Bazell, who is at St. Vincent's Hospital. Bob, what's going on there? What can you tell us? Tell me what you saw. We're on the corner of Duane and West Broadway, um, walking down towards the Twin Towers, and it just collapsed. It looked like a, um, it looked sort of like the building just demolished. Smoke, clouds, I mean, smoke, clouds of smoke everywhere. Towers, Minna? Yes, hi, Matt. Tell me what you saw. We're on the corner of Duane and West Broadway, um, walking down towards the Twin Towers, and it just collapsed. It looks like a, um, it looks sort of like the building just demolished. Smoke, clouds, I mean, smoke, clouds of smoke everywhere. People running towards me. I was going towards the Twin Towers. People were going away from the towers, uh, away from the towers. This is a live picture of what seemed to be a portion of the building falling away from the World Trade Center. This is a live picture of what seemed to be a portion of the building falling away from the World Trade Center. 
This is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers. A huge explosion now, raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way. Even uh, just on a, a plain windy day, that this material blew through in a way that was really unimaginable. It was truly frightening. Uh, it continued to rain down for several minutes, as you can see there, and, and the winds just whipped through these corridors uh, for several minutes. Eventually... It's a big plane, but it must be an observation plane. It must be a fire plane. And I thought of the wildfires out west. Maybe it's bringing in water, you know, to fight the fire exactly. in the building. Maybe it's bringing in water, you know, to fight the fire exactly. in the building. The concept that it was going to hit the tower is so foreign to all of us that, that you couldn't believe what you were seeing. And, and I still didn't believe it after it happened. Uh, Diane. Less than an hour later, the South Tower came crumbling down. It collapsed. Less than an hour later, the South Tower came crumbling down. It collapsed! Back now on Eyewitness News with a look at the latest video from Tuesday's tragedy in Manhattan, the now familiar scene of the World Trade Center Twin Towers collapsing. CBS reported just moments ago. They are now concerned about the possibility of a second collapse. I I'm still desperately confused, John, about what may have caused the building to, to collapse. Um, As you watch <clears throat> the videotape, it appeared to buckle from the middle, from the point of impact and, um, and collapse, which uh, not, you know, with no background in architecture, I don't know about the structural vulnerability, but as you, as you see, debris starts to, to peel fall, away. then it cracks, and then it just goes straight down. But the entire, at least as far as I can see, the top half of the building, at least half of it, I can't see below that, half of it just started with a gigantic rumble, folded in on itself, and collapsed in a huge plume of smoke and dust. If you wish to bring uh, anybody who's ever watched a building being demolished on purpose knows that if you're going to do this, you have to get at the, at the under infrastructure of a building and bring it down. Peter? Yes, Dan. Uh, what, what appeared to happen from my vantage point, the top part of the building was totally involved in fire, and there, was, it, there appeared to be no effort possible to put that fire out. It looked like the top part of the building was so weakened by the fire that it just the weight of it collapsed the rest of the building. That's what appeared to happen. I did not see anything happening at the base of the building. It all appeared to start at the top and then just collapse the rest of the building by the sheer weight of the top. There was no explosion or anything at the base part of it, but I, I did see that the top part of it started to, to collapse. The walls started to bulge out, bricks, glass things coming, that, coming out, and then it collapsed in on itself, and it appeared to just fold down from there, from the very top. Thanks, Don, very much. Did you see either one of the buildings collapse? Yes, I did. About 10 to 20 blocks up, I stopped to catch my breath. I turned and looked around. The Southern World Trade Center began to just buckle about 50 consecutive bangs and it went, fell down like a waterfall. See what you could hear? You could hear the steel bending. You could hear the, one, the second tower hit has collapsed. And now that's the second tower, and we believe that was the one hit higher up. Uh, we do not control this camera, it is from New York City. But the Associated Press is reporting that the second tower has collapsed. We don't know if that's a complete collapse, a partial collapse, or whatever.